Hello, everybody! Welcome back to English Online! I u ovom videu nastavljamo da govorimo o hrani. Sada govorimo o hrani koja se prodaje na ulicama raznih država. Street food around the world. Listen and read. Street food around the world. Do you ever feel hungry but don't have the time to eat at a restaurant? Then pick up some street food. It's fast, delicious and a great way to discover great flavors. Let's find out about some popular street food from different countries. A. Fish and chips. A very popular street food in the UK is fish and chips. Vendors take the fish, usually cod or haddock, and cover it in batter before they fry it in very hot oil. Then they use some special paper to wrap the fish and chips. People usually put salt and vinegar on their fish and chips. It's really tasty. B. Hot dogs. In cities in the USA, there are hot dog carts on almost every street. A hot dog is a sausage in a bun. The vendors usually steam the sausages and warm the buns up in a special oven. People then put their favorite toppings on their hot dog. Some popular toppings are mustard, ketchup, onions and relish. Many people also add some red pepper to make it spicy. Hot dogs are delicious. Pogledajte nepoznate reči i probajte da ih prevedete. Zabeležite ih. Sada proverite da li ste razumeli tekst tako što ćete odgovoriti na sledeća pitanja. I to odgovorom. Right, wrong ili doesn't say. Stop the video and do this exercise. Now check your answers. Watch the video and read. Street food around the world. Do you ever feel hungry but don't have the time to eat at a restaurant? Then pick up some street food. It's fast, delicious, and a great way to discover new flavors. Let's look at some popular street food from different countries. Fish and chips, England. A very popular street food in England is fish and chips. Vendors take the fish, usually cod or haddock, and cover it in batter. Then they fry it in very hot oil. Finally, they use some special paper to wrap the fish and chips. People usually put salt and vinegar on their fish and chips. It's really tasty. Hot dogs, USA. There are hot dog carts on almost every street in the USA. A hot dog is a sausage in a bun. Vendors usually steam the sausages. They also warm the buns up in a special oven. Customers then put their favorite toppings on their hot dog. People usually add mustard, ketchup, onions and relish. Many people add some red pepper to make it spicy. Do you know any other street foods from around the world? How do they taste?
Let's do one more exercise to check your understanding. Complete the sentences with the missing words. Stop this video and do the exercise. Now check your answers. A na strani 68. u vašem udžbeniku takođe odgovorite na pitanja iz treće vežbe. Page 69, exercise 5. Vocabulary food. Complete the sentences. Use these words. Toppings, steam, spicy and fry. Which words describe cooking methods? Stop the video and do the exercise. Check your answers. Finally, exercise 7. Listening activity. Listen and choose the correct answers A, B or C. Answer the questions. What's Paul's favorite food? What does Anne want to drink? And what does Lynn need to buy? One. What's Paul's favorite food? What's for dinner, Dad? Not chicken again, I hope. No, it's your favorite, Paul. Hot dogs. Hot dogs aren't my favorite food anymore. So what is? Ever since we got that lovely fish in Brighton, I can't stop thinking about it. Two. What does Anne want to drink? Do you want something to drink, Anne? How about a glass of this lovely apple juice? No thanks, it's too cold outside for juice. Could I have a nice hot cup of tea? Of course, do you want some milk in that? No thanks, black is fine. Sugar? Just a little please, half a teaspoon. Three, what does Lynn need to buy? Have you got everything you need for dinner, Rory? Why, Lynn? Are you going to the supermarket? Yes, I am. I have to get some apples for the pie tomorrow. Well, I've got the onions for the soup and cucumbers for the salad. So, I think I'm okay. Okay, see you later. Now, check your answers. Proverite da li ste zaokružili tačan odgovor. I to bi bilo sve što sam vam pripremila za danas. Naučite da čitate ovaj tekst i ukoliko vam se dopao ovaj način učenja, subscribeujte se na kanal English Online, a mi se vidimo u nekom od narednih videa. Bye!